Hey, Network Advisor fans, check this out. A remote controlled outlet controller. So it's an APC 9211 and it has eight outlets on the back and each one is remotely controlled either by serial connector or by LAN. Uh, this thing is pretty old and I haven't set the LAN part up because it, it runs on neither boot P or static and my DHCP server doesn't give out boot P addresses. Anyway, so each one of these LEDs represents the outlets. Let me show you the outlets on the back. All right, so on the back, there's eight outlets. They're numbered one through eight. And I've got this little network switch plugged into number two. So let's go check that out. Like I said, the network switch is plugged into outlet number two. You can look at the LEDs. You see that one is off and then all the other ones are on because the light's on. Over here is my laptop that's got the controller for it, and I know it's not the best. I'm gonna break away here in a minute, show you around this a little bit more, but just real quick, I wanna show you. If I say, okay, I wanna go option one, control the outlet, and then I say I wanna do an immediate off, which is option two, and enter, and then it makes you confirm by typing yes. I hit yes, come over here, there was a clicking noise, now outlet number two, so I can see LED number two is off, outlet number two is off, and I can confirm that because there's no more power on my little switch there. All right, and so then I can go back over here, and I can say I want to uh, turn it back on. So immediate on, option one, and yes. All right, and now it's back on. All right, so let's go over and take a better look at the menu and I'll show you some of the things that are in the menu. All right, so just a few minutes to take a look at the console options. I use PuTTY to connect to this with a null modem cable and take a look at the speed, 2400. You know, a lot of things are usually 96 by default, but 2400. Anyway, uh, if you get this thing defaulted, the uh, username and password is APC lowercase, so APC and then APC. Uh, let's see, so you've got most of what you want to do in terms of outlet control happens in the, the device manager. So option one there, let's see if I can make this window a little bigger for you, make it a little easier for you to see. And so you've got the individual outlet controls. Um, it's like for instance, if I want to turn one back on, I go into one, I want to say I want to do control the outlet and then I want to turn it on or I could even do like a delay on so like four is a delay on I'm not sure what the delay is yet you probably set that somewhere uh, let's see and then you have to, you have to confirm it um, okay and so um, actually it came right on so <laughs> I guess the delay must be minimal anyway um, all right so that's outlet control and then let's see it should be able to go back by hitting escape go back to the previous menu uh, the configure outlet, so that's pretty cool. So let's say, for instance, we look at like outlet number three, three, and then do configure. So this is different than just controlling. I'm actually doing a configuration. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Um, configure outlet number three. Oh, so you got the different types of, of delays for on off and the reboots. So again, like I told, said earlier in the video, the reboot sequence thing is pretty cool because if you think about you know, a rack full of equipment, there could be different devices that you want to come on in, in, in different stages. You know, you want your, maybe your ISP modem to come on first, and then after that you want your router to come on, and then after that you want maybe whatever server to come on, and then other things that are contingent upon that come on later. So that looks like you can set that there. Uh, let's leave outlet control, and let's go to some of the other settings that are not related to outlet control. Um, keep hitting escape to go back. Let's see, uh, how do I get back to the previous section? Okay, so like for instance, in network, not much there, except that you can either set the um, the TCIP address is either boot P or static. Um, you can even have a DNS. I'm not sure why you would need DNS, but I think maybe, oh, I know why, because you've got the um, these uh, FTP, TFTP, and then also I think I saw email. So yeah, so if you were doing that, you would need a DNS server. All right, so that's pretty cool. You could set up SNMP traps and and also uh, set an email, which that would be cool. I wonder if you could set it up for events. I mean, it's got SNMP, so why not, right? Uh, let's see what else we got besides network. Uh, three is system. Hmm. I guess you could set up different users, you know, like different user levels. 
and some authentication. Uh, what's in tools? Five is tools. Okay. Reboot, reset the, to default. Okay, that's cool. All right. And let's see. Um, 06, I guess, would give you like your, your version. The, oh, wow. Manufacture date 2001. Well, this thing is old. Wow. Okay. All right. So enough of the system. Okay. So basically, those are your three categories. Device manager, which is to control or configure the outlets. Network for your network address and then your things like SNMP traps and uh, email setup and FTP. And it looks like you've got system, which is just things related to like the firmware and informational stuff. And then four is log out. Okay, so that was cool. Anyway, if you want to find one of these, you can find them used in the usual suspects like Amazon or eBay. I bought this for about $45 US. And um, it is old, I'll give you that. It could die at any time, but you know, for $45, that's the worst that could happen. And But I do love the flexibility of having eight individual outlets that I can control through some kind of a dial-up um, or IP-based uh, mechanism. All right, I hope you found that helpful. See you next time.